been trying to get pregnant for about three years. It was actually two weeks after the positive pregnancy test that we found out we were actually pregnant with twins. We were in love and we were scared and we were excited and we were nervous all at the same time. About 12 weeks into our pregnancy, um, I started spotting. I started having a little bit of, of blood. Dr. Kershaw, who was our specialist, and, and he kind of explained to me, you know, um, our son had anencephaly and he was um, not expected to make it. Um, and that we could lose him at any point in time. You know, that we could lose him in, in utero or that we could lose him a little bit after the birth. Right before Christmas, COVID was running rampant and I ended up catching COVID. So I went to walk around the block around my neighborhood and I was almost back at my house. And all of a sudden my water breaks. I'm in the middle of the neighborhood. It's 5.30 in the morning and my water breaks. We end up going to the woman's hospital and they confirmed that my water had broken and um, they admitted me to the hospital. Now both of my twins um, were in each separate sacks. So my son's water broke, my daughter's did not. Right, and so because we knew my son wasn't going to make it, we said, we've got to put me on bed rest and keep me pregnant as long as possible so that my daughter could have a, a thriving chance to, to survive. Once, once we got into uh, the APU unit, um, the March of Dimes came in and introduced who they were, what they did, and they left me with some resources. They explained to me what preterm labor and birth looks like and potential risks that my baby could, could go through, um, you know, and, and things that I could prepare ahead of time so that I would be ready for birth if it were to happen soon. After we delivered my children, my daughter went into the NICU right away. Um, and I got to spend some time with my son because we knew he wasn't going to make it. Brandy, I really, really remember her um, in the NICU. I remember asking her, like, what, what do I do now? What, you know, what, do I bury him? To, like, what, what, how does this work? And um, she pointed me in the direction of a few resources and, and um, got me to talking to some, some people that, that could help me navigate those things. The first few days I would go in to see my daughter, all I could do was cry. I was missing my son. And Brandy was just there to just take me in, give me a hug, reassure me that everything was gonna be okay. Even if it wasn't about looking for an answer, you know, even if it was just about, this is how I feel today, she was there. She was, she was there to just hear me out. One of the biggest things that that I absolutely loved about the March of Dimes and Brandy was um, the milestone cards that they gave us. I remember Valentine's Day was the very first holiday that uh, Michaela was in the NICU. So I remember showing up to her bedside and there was this cute little box there um, with little crayons and a Valentine. And I think there was a piece of candy and she even had a little onesie that says my first Valentine. And there was a little milestone card and, and um, these milestone cards really helped us pause the journey and really celebrate and be present in the moment. You know, these milestone cards consisted of things like, first time mommy held me, first time daddy held me, my first kangaroo hold, uh, my first outfit. I remember the very first outfit we got to put on my daughter. And it was such a big deal because we had these little milestone cards that we were able to put with my daughter and take pictures and really just commemorate the moment. Um, being able to be reminded that there was just so much joy still to celebrate, even though we had just buried my son, um, was a direct result of that relationship that I had built with the March of Dimes. I never knew who the March of Dimes was. I never knew who they were until I needed them. I would have continued to be overwhelmed without the March of Dimes. And it was the March of Dimes who was there who helped us celebrate, who helped us keep going on, who helped us saying, she's almost there. Look at this big win. Look, she's already taking on bottles. Look, she's, she's in her own outfits, right? And so their celebration was really what kept us going, saying we're almost home and we're almost home. <laughs>